here are the Woomer 72 color pencils that were sent to me for free by Woomer. I did not pay for these pencils. They gifted them to me in exchange for me sharing them with you. You can find these pencils on Amazon and I think they cost about $29.99 if they're not marked down. These are budget friendly pencils. I have not looked at these pencils. I have not sniffed them. I have not opened the package. Actually, I'm opening the package for the first time on on camera for you it says good light fastness soft core artist quality saturated colors we shall see and it says 72 saturates colors and these are the colors here it says easy to blend 3.8 millimeter soft core break resistant lead wide range of colors richly saturated pigments and they do have light fastness the first thing that i'm going to do is take this sleeve off here and cut it a bit because there is a, a color chart on here that I can use to swatch the pencils. I have the color chart cut and ready to go so I can swatch. But before I start swatching, here is a little information I think you will find beneficial. One, these are pencils that are from China, I do believe. And that information is actually on the back of here. It doesn't say China per se, but on the back, but I do know it is a product of China, made in China. The thing about these pencils is that they are light fast. They have that quality. The company has tested the light fastness and this is what they have to share with us. Now, as you can see on the color chart, there is a number for the pencil. WP001 is an example of one and we have white as the color and the number four. And as you can see, you may see four to five and you may even see three. Those numbers indicate the light fast. And let's take a look at the key that they have here before I open up these pencils here. Five pluses mean that the pencil has extremely light fast or it is extremely light fast and that's what it says four pluses good light fastness three pluses light fast two limited light fastness and one plus less light fast and then a dash zero no light fast if a pencil has three filled in pluses and then an open plus, that means it's between three and four, kind of like a three and a half, you know? And then if it has four pluses and that plus is open, that is four to five. This is their logo here. The pencils come in a metal tin, which is always a good thing, especially if you like to keep your pencils in their original packaging. So here they are. We have one tray of pencils which will be 36 i believe and then we have whoops another tray of pencils here okay so looking at the color they actually look pretty good i'm trying to get them situated here my pencils got out of whack <laughs> all right but they actually look look pretty good and they feel good. So let's take a look at the colors that they have. So we have some yellows going into pinks and oranges and reds. Some blues here. Some more pinks that might be more like a neon color maybe. I don't know. Some more pinks here. And then we have some purples, some green, a good amount of green, then some browns, and then our grays and the black here. The feel of these pencils, they actually feel like polychromos as far as the feel because they are round. The barrel is round. But of course, we know it's not polychromos. 
but it's always good to have a budget-friendly pencil that reminds you of your higher quality pencil. That's always a good thing. This is how the pencil looks. This part here says has the number has a number on here WPCPO1. It says made in China right here. I know you probably can't see that, but that's what it says. Then it has rumor here. Colored pencil, their little logo. And then if you turn the pencil over, this is where all the good information is about the actual pencil. The thing that I'm having a problem with is trying to read the gold lettering on here. Okay. Even though I have lighting, I have to kind of turn it so that I can see what it says. Now this is, maybe I can get it where you can see it. But there we go. This says Thalo Blue WP235. Okay. Don't know how well you can see that, but it also has one, two, three, four. It has four pluses, which means it's between, I guess, what do they say? Four and five for the light fast. And then there is this portion here which is really hard to read you know it's a little scanner upc little scanner thing you hear thing that i see right now that is a little bit concerning but not too much is that the goal it's kind of hard to read this on here even if i take it out of the light but i can see it you can see it but being that it's gold, it's a little bit hard to read. Now, this color here is light green. There we go. See, I got it in a way where you can see it. Light green, and it has four pluses, which means that it has good light fast. And we have our little scanner thingy here, which still looks to be like it's too hard to read. And then we have the woman. But I do like the pencil, and you see how fat the lead is 3.8 is what it is all right time to swatch we have our first one which is a white pencil and it has four pluses which means that the light fastness is good i'm going to swatch this but i know it's not going to turn out where i can see it but i just want to get the feel of the pencil here mm, that feels pretty good okay it feels pretty good all right now here is the real swatching where it starts we have light cadmium yellow and light cadmium yellow with a four here kind of feels a little waxy to me Cream. I think they're pretty good so far. They feel pretty good. And you don't have to push down too hard to get pigment on this card here we have sunburst yellow I do like the way they feel a little bit of crumbs a little bit but not much One thing I can say is that I do like that they have the name of the colors on here and that you can read it. You know, it's a little bit hard when I have the light lighting shining on it. But if you're just sitting down coloring, it's not too hard to see what the color is on here.
I'm going to finish up swatching these and I'll be back to show you the completed swatches. Here they are. And as you can see, there is a good amount of blues, good amount of reds and oranges here. We have a good amount of purples. Sometimes I've purchased 72 sets or even 36 set pencil and they don't have this many purples in. It might be one or two purples. Then we go into the greens. Have some greens here, some browns. And then we go into our grays here and the black. I think my favorite color that I really like swatching, of course, I love blues. So this is ultramarine, ocean blue, Prussian blue, bluish turquoise. I like all of these. I really like the rose red, the carmine. I like the crimson here. These really do remind me of castle arts. But you have to understand that this card here is really smooth. But I did get a little bit of crumbles. As you can see, I have it kind of smeared over here. I like this color here. This is deep cobalt green and I like the cobalt turquoise. I am done with swatching these. I'm going to color something for you. I am going to color a page from this book, Simplicity 5, a cute and minimalist animal coloring book for adult stress relief. And I will be coloring this page here using the Woomer pencils. This paper is fairly thin, as you can see. You probably can see the illustration on the back through the paper, right? I know you can see it because I can see it. Well, that lets you know that this paper is fairly thin. It is a step above copy paper, I think. It does have a little bit of texture, not much. It's kind of smooth. But nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and try out the pencils on this paper. I didn't know if I should be talking while I'm coloring, but I'm going to go ahead and talk to you while I color. That way I can tell you exactly what I'm thinking as I put color down on the paper here. What I'm going to do first is put a light shade of this color on the bird, on the whole entire bird. This color is the cobalt teal blue and it has a light fastness of four. I'm coloring lightly and the color is just going on the paper. I'm not having to put much pressure, which is very, very good. And I think that we need to darken this because I can't even see my color here. There we go. Okay. There we go. But I'm using a very light hand and the color is coming onto this paper fairly easy. That's a plus. I don't have to work too hard to get the color on the paper here. Now I'm going to go over the whole entire bird with this lighter shade. And what I like already is that I can use a light hand and color is coming onto the paper fairly easy with my light hand. I'm just putting like a base color down. And I'm also putting this base color down so I can see pretty much how these pencils work. If they're going to put down color easily or not. And so far, I'm pleased with that because my pressure is, is light. My hand is light. It's not too light, but it is light. It's light enough for me to be able to come back and put some more layers on here. That's a good thing. I like the way they feel on this paper. There are other pencils that I've used on this paper here in this book. And Sometimes, you know, depending on the pencil, I have to push down a little hard to get color on the paper. Not so with these. So that's a plus here. 
And I don't really care about how I'm placing the color because this is my little base color that I'm using here. I want to say to y'all, when you're coloring, don't try to be so perfect, you know. And don't strive to try to color like you see somebody else color, you know. Light it up some. Because that can take away your joy when it comes to coloring, you know. You're constantly comparing how you color to other people. Just do you. And if you have to, don't look at so many <laughs> pictures that other people color, you know. If it's going to get you in that point where you are comparing how you color to what somebody, how somebody else colors who's been coloring for much longer than you have. So, you know, look at it this way. The longer you color, the better you'll get, right? So don't worry about it. <laughs> Light hand and colors going on the paper fairly easy, as I stated before. And I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still do a little light shade here. But that's gonna be a totally different color. When I'm testing out pencils and pretty much showing you how they work, I like to use something, I like to color something that is simple, but also a little bit more open. Not a lot of extra lines and stuff on the actual illustration. So now I have the bird done and I'm going to move on to select my other color. I have my other color here and it is deep sky blue. I am going to put this color somewhere on here. <laughs> but I'm still light-handed with this, okay? The purpose of this video is to see how these pencils work. Not so much to see how pretty I can color. I actually think these are really good pencils. I thought that they wouldn't really work that well on this paper but i have used other pencils on this paper where i had to really use a lot of pressure to get the color on the paper but not so with this very light hand colors going down fairly nicely i'm just trying to see how do these pencils work especially for us beginners and people that just color you know we're not trying to be <laughs> be a Michelangelo or anything, but we're just coloring, you know. These pencils I think would be pretty good for that. For kids, cause they wouldn't have to use, they wouldn't have to press down so hard with the colors if they don't want to, with the pencils, I'm sorry. And they would still get color on the paper. But you know what? I'm wondering how these will work on paper that is smoother, but still like a higher quality. I kind of think, you know, it might be an issue. I don't know. I just have to try to see, huh? I shouldn't be trying to speculate. <laughs> but they do remind me of another brand that I used to own, uh, Castle Art. But it seems like to me, these might be a little bit above that as far as the pressure that I'm using and the, the saturation. I know when I swatched them, I couldn't help but think that, oh, these remind me of castle arts. And I read some reviews on Amazon where people say that, oh, these remind me of, of polychromo. They remind me of prismas. I was just using some chrome, uh, polychromos before I started coloring this. And I don't think they feel like polychromos a little bit but they're probably more closer to prismas because they feel more they feel softer and they feel like they're a little bit more waxy than polychromos but as you can see it's holding the lead the point is holding up pretty good so that's a good thing you know that prismas 
their points tend to go down fairly quickly, right? At least that's the case for me. That's what happens when I use them. It looks like also with these pencils, they'll be easy to blend because they're very soft. I do like these pencils, you know. I like the ease of not having to press down so hard to get the color to come out. And th this blue is vibrant. If you have an issue with your hands, this might be a pencil to consider trying because you don't have to press down too hard, hold too long or whatever to get color. I'll put a little bit of blue here on the belly part. Now I'm going to go in with another blue. I know they say do it in circles, but this is a big area. I have a way of fixing it. Here I'm doing a little bit more pressure still. It's not that taxing on my hands at all. I think I found me some a cheaper pencil to use when I don't want to use the other pencils. Now the only thing with this set, I think, is that you cannot buy individual pencils. You have to probably repurchase the whole set from what I can understand. Now, I'm not too comfortable with coloring on camera. I know some of you probably know that because I've said it all the time. And I figure most people don't really <laughs> want to see me coloring. That's why I'm not comfortable with coloring on camera. It's not that I don't think I can color, because I can color some. <laughs> I'm not a Michelangelo or anything like that, but I'm, I'm okay. The next shade that I have is a darker shade. It is the phthalo blue, and I'm gonna put it in certain areas. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the bird. We'll finish the blue portion of the bird and I will be back. I wanted to pop back in to tell you that I'm noticing that I'm, the lead is breaking. It broke on me like I would say two times using this pencil. So just wanted to let you know that if you put too much pressure, the lead just might break on you. Just so you know, I am taking a lighter shade of blue. This is deep sky blue and I'm going over some of the other portions here to kind of, of course, blend it remove some of the, well, cover some of the white of the paper or the tooth of the paper. And when I do that, looks like it just blends so well. A woomer. <laughs> it's not bad. What I'm not liking, though, is the, the little flaking that you get or the crumbs. Because you have to be careful because they might smear on your paper. But I don't think they will smear. You can just brush them away. When I say smear, just, well, they are smearing now. I see that. But just know that you have to be careful because it looks like you will get some dirty paper. <laughs> so be careful with that. With the eye, I'm using Cold Gray 3. I'm just going to color it in. I'm going to try something with the eye with my white pen here. I'm going to try a pen to see if I can get a dot here. Okay. That worked pretty good. No problem. You know, sometimes it's hard to put a pen on a pencil that you've used. Let me see something. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> I just wanted to see how the pen would work. And it's not hard at all. Sometimes, you know, you can use a pencil and you can't use your white gel pen. It won't even go over it. So that's 
that's a good thing. I'll come back and finish that. I just wanted to see if it would work, and it does. I'm going to take a white pencil. This color here that I use, this uh, yellow, it's not really yellow, it's, uh, it says dark Naples ochre. I'm gonna use a little bit of a white pencil to, you know, make this a little bit lighter. And to also cover the tooth that, sh oh, see the lid just broke again. Now I'm ready to color the flowers. I spruced the bird up just a little bit. I don't know how well you can see it, but I went in with a little bit of a Sparkle Pop gel pen around the wing area outlining, and I put the little dot on the white of the eye. I am going to first use this baby pink. I'm going to use this one for the center of the flower. Wow. Wow. I just like the way that felt on the paper it feels pretty good that's why i said wow <laughs> all right so we got a little bit of a pink i know people we always use yellow see my lid just broke i'm having an issue with my lid breaking <laughs> just so you know okay you might get some breakage of lid just make sure you don't push so hard maybe i'm pushing too hard i think i'm going to go in with another pink because i have three different colors I have this color is pink matter. I'm just going to color the whole flower or petal. As far as these pencils are concerned, I think they're pretty good. Pretty good budget friendly. I know you've heard me say that before. I wasn't really expecting much, you know, but I can say I'm impressed with these. I am impressed. If you like a soft lead pencil, lead pencil, <laughs> if you like a soft pencil, then you might like these, especially if you are looking to buy something on a budget okay so I went in with my pink matter I'm going to go in with another color which is light crimson let me see yeah I'm gonna go in with light crimson I'm just going to go over where I want this to be the darker shade, the darker color, so to speak. Because I have another color that I'll be using that's a little darker than this one. darker shade this color is rose red and it's a little bit darker not much darker but what I'm going to do of course is I'll come back over it with the lighter shade of pink I really want to see how these colors would work together and I think they're doing pretty good I have white space. I'm going to come back in with a lighter shade of pink here. And this is the pink matter. Not the pink matter. I guess it'll work.
I think I want the other color, which is baby pink. And here I'm putting down a little bit more pressure because I want to cover the tooth of the paper. I would have to say these pencils aren't bad. If you are a beginner with coloring and you want to learn to blend and you don't want to spend a lot of money on pencils or you don't have the money to spend on expensive pencils or you just like budget-friendly pencils, period, then these might be some that you might want to try. I want a darker shade, darkness in the center here. Like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just feel like I needed a little bit of darkness in there to make some stuff pop. I have my flowers done. Now I'm ready to add some green. The green color that I chose is juniper green. I'm going to put some green here and here. I want it to be a darker shade of green because my flowers are lighter. I'm still kind of light, but I'm not that light. I think this is medium pressure that I'm doing because I don't, I'm not trying to see it broke again. <laughs> I'm not trying to be light handed or blend anything here. I just want the color on the paper. I'm ready to do the background. The first color I'm, that I'm going to be using is dark Naples ochre. I'm going to start with the darkest shade. I'm not going to start with the darkest shade, but the darker shade in the sky is going to be up here. And we're going to have a mid color and then a lighter shade. And so my lightest shade that I'm going to start with, which is, you can see my little lead here. Let me get it out of the way, which is the color cream. And I'm going to do cream down here and let it be fairly light here. All right, that's what I'm doing. Don't really care how I do it. As long as I get some color on the paper, my pressure is probably medium, medium light. It's not too heavy. And you can see that other illustration. I'm gonna put some paper behind here so I don't see the other illustration. I'll be right back. I have it covered. I have me a piece of paper behind here so I don't be distracted by the other illustration behind the page on the next page. So here I'm just putting color down. I'm not trying to be perfect here. I'm just trying to see how these pencils work. Now when I get up in here, I'm going to be a little bit lighter because I want to blend a the next color that I'm going to put here. having a hard time erasing the pencil so maybe it doesn't erase all that well so right in here it's going to be really light because I'm going to be trying to blend in a color here I don't really care how this background looks. <laughs> I'm not trying to make it all perfect because I'm going to see how this works with Gamsol. This color is sunburnt yellow. I'm going to go into this color a bit i'm not trying to be perfect i like the way this color goes onto the paper the cream color seemed like it was a little bit of a struggle to get the color on the paper well it wasn't really a struggle i had to work a little harder this one i don't have to work that hard it just kind of comes down it's very saturated what is this it's four what is the cream four plus okay 
just wanted to see but this color here feels like it has more saturation in it but i can tell that this color here is is much easier to put on the paper than the cream i don't know if it's because the cream color is a lighter color what i find with this pencil set is is that if the pencil is lighter it doesn't really have a lot of saturation if that makes sense you can't really see the color and let me show you what i mean by that this color here you may not be able to see it but it is caribbean c and it looks like there really is no color there but it is color there but it, it's like it didn't want to come onto the paper and that's how the cream behaved for me and that's what i mean by the color not really coming onto the paper like this one this putting this on this color is fairly easy, not hard at all. The color is very saturated. And the other colors that I showed you, the Caribbean Sea, it's not as saturated. And the cream is not as saturated. So I take it that it's a little bit harder to get the color on the paper. You have to work a little harder so you can actually see the color. This is the kind of page that I would color when I just want to chill and not really think about how the page is going to look. I came up with some colors, grabbed a few colors that I wanted to try for this page or to use on this page, and that's what I did. And normally that's what I do if I'm coloring a page from this type of book. I don't really care about how it's going to look. It's just me getting some color on the paper to ease my mind, stop worrying about stuff, calm down, manage stress. The next color that I'm going to use is the darker color, that ochre color, and we will be done with the sky. I'm going to go up a little bit for here. We'll be using the Dark Naples Orchid not caring about really how this look because i'm going to test this with some mineral spirits i want to see how it's going to work with that and you will see that because i'm going to show you now this one here seems like i'm having trouble trying to put it on the paper it's like it feels a little scratchy now that color i used before which this one here this is the sunburst yellow it didn't feel scratchy it felt really waxy it felt like it was just laying down this one is laying down but it takes a little bit more effort it's like it's a little dry to me I have my little mineral spirit. I did try it over here and it worked pretty good. So I'm going to let you see what I'm talking about here. I don't even see where I, you know how you, I have the little lines that you can see. I don't see that there. So that's good, 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 good. What I'm going to do is go through and finish the rest of this with the mineral spirit. I'm going to do the rest of the, the background with it and I'll be back. But it looks like it works very well. As soon as I put the mineral spirit on here, the Gamsol, that's the brand I'm using. It just worked like magic. So, But when the trick to using Gamsols, you have to make sure that you have enough pigment on the paper it smoothed it out it's like really really smooth wow let me finish this and i will be back i am done and i have to say this is really really smooth really really smooth of course you're gonna have that on the back of the paper once it dries that should go away but i think it did very very well with me using the mineral spirit it blended in very very well i don't have any streaking or anything like that the only thing that i noticed and i'm i'm seeing something here the only thing that i noticed is right in here i don't know if you can see it but this is a little bit of blue i didn't hit that i don't think maybe i did but i noticed that when i colored there was little 
crumbs or wax pieces that were off not too big but just a little i would say like a little bit of specks of stuff that i didn't get off of here and that's why that's there that little spot there but overall i think this turned out pretty good with the mineral spirits i wasn't expecting it to work because sometimes when i use mineral spirits with certain pencils they don't work that well this works very well it looks like i did some really good blending with pencils <laughs> the last thing that i'm going to do is color around here and i'll be back to show you the finished result what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this juniper green that i used here and here i'm going to use it around the frame and i'm not going to color real hard i'm gonna color just enough to put some pigment in and i'm going to smooth it out with my mineral spirit i'm not going to color too hard just enough to put some color on the paper here it's called juniper green and i'm going to smooth it out when i use the mineral spirit it's going to smooth and move this color pigment around move it out that's why i'm not trying to color too hard on here but just enough to get some pigment on here to finish it off now this color it's not it's a, it has four pluses with an open plus which means that it has a light fastness of four to five I just want to put some color down so I can move, have a just enough to move it around with my Gamsol. You don't have to use Gamsol, you can use a blender pencil. But sometimes, you know, to save your hand, you know, a burnishing pencil to smooth everything out, you can just grab your little brush and use you some mineral spirit. And to me, that's really, that's a, that's quicker <laughs> when you have a bigger area, at least. That's been my experience. I really enjoyed coloring this. It really did not take me that long to color this. It seemed like it took a long time because I'm actually filming. When you film, you have to, at least I have to cut my camera off at a certain point because it gets hot and I have to let it cool down. But it is taking me longer. It seems like to color this picture because i'm filming but actually in actuality this picture didn't take that long to film now i'm just trying to make sure i'm getting in the frame and that you can see and that my lighting is okay and all that good stuff now this pencil kind of feel this color it kind of feels dry this one does because i noticed that when i used it over here that's why I went ahead and just burnished it with one color. Because it seemed like I had to push down a little harder to get the color to come out. I guess you can't expect uniformity in every color, right? But we would like for there to be some uniformity with our colors laying down and feeling the same way. I know this one does not feel the same. The colors that felt the best to me were these, the darker colors, the darker shades, like the blues and the pink here that I used. That felt really good going on. And then this sunburst yellow, it felt good going on to the paper. It was like butter. Like I didn't have to, have to try so hard to put color down, but with this one I do. But that's okay. That's quite all right because I'm going to fix it up. You just want to put enough pigment on your paper so that you have some pigment to move around when you apply the Gamsol or when I apply the Gamsol. Let me get my Gamsol. I'm going to smooth this out. I will be back to show it to you and share with you my final thoughts about the Woomer color pencils. I thought that maybe you would want to see me doing this here. You see how that looks? This is the white of the paper. I didn't go all the way over, but I started here with the mineral spirit. And then I said, let me show you because there is a difference here. So what this is doing, and I'm going outside the line here, it's helping me to move this color on to smooth it out. I really don't want it to be like, perfectly smooth 
I want it to kind of look rustic. You see how I just smoothed it out? And the more I go over it in certain spots, it's going to make it be lighter. And see, I messed up there, but charge it to my head. I'm trying to talk and show you and look through the viewfinder to show you how it looks. So if I was not doing that, I'm sure I would not get outside of the line here. <laughs> All right. See, I messed up again. I have to focus. But you can see how the mineral spirit just makes everything smoother and there is no obvious tooth of the paper shining through. And I'm hitting my camera because <laughs> I have this camera kind of down low up close and so you can see this stuff up close and personal. And you can see this is the part where I've applied mineral spirit to it. And I said I wanted it rustic, meaning it's gonna look kind of washed out. I just want to show you how it looks with these pencils and that you don't have to color very hard to get pigment on the paper with these pencils and that is good and i love this because it smooths it out and i don't have to get out a burnishing pencil and use my hand and <laughs> this i'm using very light strokes of this on here and it's working fine all done with this page i enjoyed coloring this page immensely i think it turned out beautifully because i had some pretty good pencils these are budget-friendly pencils and they did me good now there were a few pencils in here that i used to color this page where I really had to give it some pressure because the color did not want to come out. That was the green. This color here, which is a dark Naples ochre, and then this cream color here. And I think my lightest pink I have. So it seems like to me, some of the lighter colors, you have to give it a little bit more pressure. They kind of felt a little dry. I had a great experience using these pencils. I'm glad that Woomer reached out to me to allow me the opportunity to try these pencils. If you are looking for some budget-friendly pencils, you might want to check out Woomer on Amazon. I will link them in the description below. Now check out the color chart here to see if this is something you'd be interested in. They have, look at my little lid, it's broke here. <laughs> they have a good amount of blues, a good amount of uh, colors, and also a good amount of purples. Sometimes I get a set and they don't even have that many purples in there. But this one has quite a few purples. When I say not that many, I'm talking about one to two purples three max but they have quite a few and then they have the blues and of course the greens and your lighter more i say pastel colors up here these are the colors if you're interested in checking them out further just go over to amazon and check them out i'm so glad i had a good experience coloring this because i really thought that i was not going to like these pencils and i did not want to <laughs> say anything bad or negative that's right because i keep my reviews honest the only issue i had was that my leg kept breaking yes my leg kept breaking i don't know if it had anything to do with my pencil sharpener but my leg kept breaking and that's one thing i do not like i don't think anybody <laughs> likes for their lead to break when they're trying to get their coloring on okay do some coloring and also the second thing that I noticed is that when I was coloring some colors, I had to really 
give it some pressure because they seem to be a little bit dry. For the most part, I didn't have all of the pencils acting like that. It was just a few of the pencils that were like that. And I only used a few of the pencils that I showed you. So imagine that there may be some more pencils in the set that I have that is a little bit hard to put on paper. But for the most part, if you have issues with your hands, you can lay color down with these pencils very easily, very quickly. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. The way I can tell if a pencil is a little bit dry is when I swatch. You know, if they're light and it was really hard for me to get some color out, then I know that it's probably going to be like that when I color. And cream, that happened to me here, Naples, ochre color here that that kind of felt a little bit dry this color i did not use but uh, this is caribbean sea or caribbean sea this one is like a blue light light blue color and it was hard for me to put it on the card so i'm thinking that if i were to use it on paper I would have to give it more pressure in order to get the color on the paper. And this baby pink, I think I used baby pink right in here. It was kind of hard to get that on there. But you can tell when you swatch which ones are going to be easy to work with versus the ones that are going to be harder to put down, like this yellow green here. I can just tell by the way it's swatched. Overall, these are really good pencils, especially if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of money to be spending on pencils or you're someone who's just getting into coloring, then you might find these to be a good purchase. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Until next time, Keep calm and keep coloring. Bye.